All right, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. I am in my backyard on the autopilot. I'm supposed to be out chasing tuna this morning, but I woke up to a nice surprise of a dead battery in my truck. So I'm stuck here, um, I'm making the best of it. I have a pork butt on the smoker, and I'm gonna make this video for you guys to show you guys how to get fishing line that gets tangled up in your prop out while you're out on the water. Um, it's not as bad as you would think. It's when I was out, the waves were pretty choppy. I'm looking at a uh, probably one and a half foot when I got my line tangled up and I had to get it off while I was in the water. So uh, check out this video. Hopefully you guys learn a couple things from it. Same thing goes for the PDL. It's pretty much the same process, except for the PDL, you have a, a prop nut that you had to take off with a number 14 wrench or 916 wrench. Um, so make sure you guys throw this in your little uh, carry case on your PDL so that when you guys are on the water and you gotta get your stuff out, uh, it makes it a lot easier because you ain't doing it with, without one of these or a wrench or something or a Gerber, I guess. But that would be a really big pain in the butt too. So just make sure you have one of these in your tackle box. All right, I'm gonna join you guys on this video so I can kind of walk you through on what I'm doing and what's going on with my motor. So, right, right from the beginning, you can see that I'm trying to get my motor up out of the water, but it's not really working for me. And if you notice the orientation of the motor, you'll soon find out why. But it takes me a couple minutes, really a couple of seconds to figure out what's going on. Remember that this kind of happens all of a sudden. You're on the water, you're trying to fish, things are kind of hectic, so um, here we go. I'm starting to figure it out. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Grab my uh, my little remote control, reorient that motor to the north, and then it pops right out. So, pretty easy stuff. And as you see, my Rapala is all kinds of tangled up in there, probably wrapped around. I don't know, a couple dozen times. Now I'm thinking to myself, well, crap. I gotta get this thing out somehow. Finger power, not really gonna work on this situation because that thing's pretty tight. And right now I'm probably thinking, how am I gonna get this wing nut off? And I remember, of course, the kill switch is its own little wrench to take these wing nuts off, so. Don't forget that you have that in your kayak, if this ever happens. I'm trying to be really careful right here so I don't drop my wing nut in the water. There's a wing nut and then a washer. Put that to the side, pull that off, and you can see as I kind of pan over here to the left of the motor, I'm really wrapped up in there. I'll do it a couple times. Don't forget that you got your shear pin in there. Mine's in there pretty tight, so um, it wasn't really moving around too much. Otherwise, I would have probably taken that out too, just to make sure that I don't drop that in the water, because without that shear pin, your, uh, your motor's not gonna engage that prop. All right, put the prop back on. Put my wing nut back on. And then tighten it back down with that kill switch. So you get your line unstuck from your stinking motor. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a comment below if you've ever had to do this on the water <clears throat> and if you ran into issues with it. Don't forget that you also need to have a couple of these bad boys in your bin. I got a extra prop wing nut. I got two extra prop wing nuts. And I got a third one just in case. And this one has some some spare prop pins in them. So don't forget to have a couple of these in your little compartment here on the side because last thing you want to be on the water taking these things off and then lose it and then now you're seriously dead in the water because you got nothing to connect your your prop back on with. So always have a couple of those. Good thing to have. I got these from marinercells.com, but I'm sure you can go on Amazon, check them out. Maybe I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can pick some up. Uh, I think Navarre Kayak Fishing sells them. The ones he sells, I think float. I don't know if these float. I didn't test it on the water because I wasn't about to lose one. So um, check out his page. He's got some floating stuff, which uh, could be very beneficial. But remember, one is none, two is some, and three, well, you're almost guaranteed that you're, you're gonna be safe, so. 
it's a good little philosophy to live by. So don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.